Hi guys and welcome to Andy's Weird World. Um, something a little bit different today. Well, I always say things like that. Actually, this is um, a blog. Um, it's going out to Tony who lives in the Philippines now. He used to live in Sydney, it's, but now uh, in the sunny climates of the Far East. And he asked me if I could actually go to um, RAF Thamesford. So I said, yeah, so we're going to have a quick look. Right, we're actually walking along the footpath here. Um, it's going to take us up to the to the airfield, and um, evidently this airfield was uh, in operations uh, from 191941 and uh, it was uh, a lot of secret missions were taken from here. Well, this is the actual uh, map where we're going along. I'm just going using Google Maps here. I'm the little blue line there. And uh, we're going further up here. So I've actually been reading up about this uh, airfield. Um, it's actually closed now. And um, I know when I was flying, I landed at the airfield here once because it, it is a tarmac or concrete runway. Um, I had an engine failure and I landed and uh, managed to get going and got off again and uh, yes, so I was told I not wasn't really meant to land here but uh, I didn't have much of a choice. Anyway, so we're walking along the field still and um, we'll see how long it is before we get to the runways. It's a... It's a cold December day, I know that, and um, it's been raining like anything, and uh, it's just stopped. Right, we're still we're still walking along here, along the footpath. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the um, the airfield, so I gather, is still owned by the Ministry of Defence. While we're walking along the uh, the boundary line, actually, um, I thought I might show you, or show you some photos of um, the airfield as it was all those uh, all those years ago, and uh, shows you what it was like when it's when it was active. Continue. We'll have a look at uh, Google Maps and see how far we got to go. Well, it looks like it. Um, we have a little bend up here. We have to go straight on at the bend, and then we'll come to the bottom of one of the runways. So, uh, just up there, there's a bend in the road. Well, this looks like it's the. Um, the boundary road actually and uh, we're going to just continue walking up here it's all concrete here now which makes it a bit better I haven't come across any uh, any runways at the moment well by looking at the map here just here, looks like it's uh, one of the runways. Well, there's a sign there saying uh, danger private and uh, keep out. Why? Right. Just continue walking. See what else we can see. We're walking along the boundary road still. Now, as I said, I've been reading up, and uh, this um, airfield was top secret, and uh, a lot of the uh, uh, sorties, and they did thousands, I gather, they went behind enemy lines, uh, dropped parachutists, and, uh, and also uh, supplies for um, the, the agents that were in um, 
hostile territory, so to speak. So um, they try to keep the airfield as, um, as secluded as possible. And there's a barn here called Gibraltar Barn. Um, we're going to come across that. Now, so I gather, looking on my Google Maps, um, it's, uh, it's just up here. So we pass the wrong way. And remember, I'm the, uh, I'm the blue dot there. And so I gather the next barn, which is just above me and just in front of me now, is Gibraltar Barn. So let's have a quick look at that. Now the reason why it's not like a uh, concrete building, they want to keep it look like a barn. So of any M &E, uh, aircraft that flew over it and was taking photographs, all they would see would be a would be just a barn. And uh, and this is where all the operations came from, inside here. So there's lots of things here. The brave never die, they live on in history forever. To be honest, actually, I didn't expect this at all in the Spano. I know some parts of the barn here have actually been rebuilt, but um, you know, it has a definitely have a funny feeling, you know, a funny atmosphere actually. That uh, young lives they pick their stuff up here, jumped on planes, and uh, a lot of them never ever came back again. So that's Gibraltar Barn here at Thamesford Airfield. Let's have a bit of a walk up. It's absolutely pouring the rain now. Right, we'll continue our little walk uh, and uh, we'll have a look at the other runway, which is uh, just up here. While I'm walking down to the, uh, the next runway, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, please do so. And um, if you want me to visit somewhere, and if it's not too far away and I've got time, I'm willing to do that. Anyway, let's get to the next day. There we go. Very, very close to the next runway. Looks like they've been cutting trees down here. And uh, it's absolutely pouring down with rain now. Ah, look. We're nearly at the runway. To get to the other runway, we have to go through this little bit of a wood here because um, it's completely waterlogged. And I'm trying to find my way to get through there. And to be honest, I can't find a way through. Head back out again. <sighs> a lot of brambles. Well, 
We'll try to get through there. We can't. It's just full of brown walls and too thick, so we'll see the water. We have been having so much rain in December and also in November. Can't believe it. The ground is absolutely sodden. So we got past that. Now, hopefully, we can see the end of the runway. We just go down here. We're getting so slippery and muddy, you won't believe it, actually. Um, right, now we should be actually, by my sat nav, we should be at the end of the runway. And to be honest, I can't see it. Well, by the looks of that, I've actually walked past it. So let's have a, let's walk back. I'm getting wetter and wetter. So we walk, we're backtracking ourselves now. See if we can find this concrete runway. So up here somewhere. So. Must be here somewhere. Has to be. How can how can you not see a big runway? Well, it looks like the runway is about here somewhere. Anyway, probably down that track there, but not concreted anymore. Okay, that's why we missed it. Well, there we go guys, that's my my little trip to uh, Thamesford Airfield on a, on a very cold, very wet December. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. This is especially going out to Tony, who's in the Philippines. He's some sunning himself, lucky so-and-so. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you did. That would be absolutely fantastic. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, please do so. So once again, this is Andy Sane from a very wet Tensford airfield. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.